Hello everyone, my name is Saksham Dixit and this is my channel Pen Test Diaries. So today I'll give you a walkthrough of one of the retire machine of Hack the Box. The machine name is NTQ and this is an easy machine. I'll try to cover all the stuff to, to get it solved this machine getting a final root flag. So let me go to my system now and solve this machine. So in this video, we simply have to run the first of all, we have to run the AMAP just to identify the ports on the target machine. So the IP address of this machine is uh, 10.129.131.162. We simply have to run it and wait for the output. So now we can be able to see the output as uh, port 23 is the only port is enabled on the target machine. So now this is a TCP port which we can able to identify. Now we look for the UDP also. So let me run the same command once again for the UDP also. So I can able to see 161 is also open on a target machine. So that's it. So now what we will do, we'll simply have to run the SNMP walk. Okay. So by this way, I can able to identify the string. Okay. That's one thing. Now I'll use the SNMP walk just to identify the next stuff which we're looking for it. Yeah, so we are looking for this content over here itself, which we supposed to use it to retrieve the password out of it. Okay, so now what I'll do, I'll simply have to run this echo with conversion of uh, whatever the stuff we're looking for it. So I'll I'll just run this command. So what exactly? We just echo it over here to get it converted as per our need, and let me run it. Once we run it, we can able to retrieve the password out of it. Okay, this is the password for the telnet. Now what we'll do, we'll just simply try to telnet it on port 23 and when it's asking for the password, let me copy this content and I'll copy this content, paste it over here and I'll put question mark. Okay. I can able to see this. Now what I'll do, I'll simply start the listener on one of the machine on one of the other terminal for it and let me run it with port number 443 okay now i'll coming back to this section i'll run this one liner just to get the reverse shell out of it so once i'll trigger this it's a one liner and, and let me check my ip address also i think it's 16 only okay 14.16 perfect so once i'll trigger it i can able to see the reverse shell out of it once we get the shell, it's not a stable shell. So what I'll do, I'll just cancel it. I'll run this command just to make it stable. So now it's a stable shell. What we have to do now, uh, you simply have to run these three commands along with that. Okay, one. Then for the bash also. And the last command is STY column 213. This is related to the stable shell only, so nothing different from anything else. Okay, I think this is done. Now, what is the next step for it? I'll just simply have to run the who am I, okay, and if config. So I know it looks like very scattered one, but so um, as per the screenshot, I'm, I'm aware about it, the IP address of it, I can able to see that. Now we'll run the net stat just to see the ports, what are the local ports are running on it. So let me do it. Let me run the nmap. Okay, I think this will not working appropriately. What I'll do? Okay, it's getting hanged in both the ways. Okay, I think the terminal is completely hanged. Now, let me run this telnet once again i'll run the telnet once again uh, now we'll put the password ok 
okay inside of it now one liner we have to run it okay so let me open one more terminal okay hyphen n n v p it's 444 okay now one liner i have to run it and i have to modify the content of it also so let me open the notepad in this place i have instead of 443 i have to make it 444 let me run it okay once we run this we can able to get the reverse shell okay now i'll try to make it stable okay i'll simply try to paste this and okay something happened with this don't know what happened again the same problem okay so uh, let me run this now it's net not getting and don't know what's the problem let me pause the video for a minute so now it's look like stable i'm facing some issues that was the reason i paused the video so we simply have to run the whoami will get this lp okay and this is if config now what else so before proceeding further it's better for me i'll just have to read the user.txt flag so let me read the user.txt flag and i can able to uh now i'll coming out of it and i'll run net stat i think it's n80 hyphen n80 hyphen n80 so i can able to see port 631 is a listener one okay so what i'll do i'll simply try to run this at local okay sorry run it and i can able to see the output okay so cups 1.6 is the version which is using at the target server so now what's the next step for it we'll try to see grab 1.6 once again find the same command with grab 1 and i can able to see this okay so now as we already aware about it so like i even i'll run this to get the root flag but i'm not uh, doing those stuffs instead of that uh, what i'll do i'll simply go to my base machine uh, let me go to the base machine once again okay okay and i'll go to this section it's 4034 okay now what i'll do i'll run python 3 hyphen m and i think that said no it's 8000 okay that's it no problem it's 8000 now what we'll do we'll just go to the terminal once again i'll type temp okay now i'll fire this command before firing this command it's better for me i'll just modify this so i'll make it this colon 8000 i think that's perfect now i'll run this command i think this will done now what i'll do i'll simply have to run this exploit this is the exploit i'll explain you now okay and i think this will make my right as root okay i'm getting the root rights now perfect and even i can go inside of this to read my root.txt file okay so one more thing which i forgot to tell you so this is the one let me open the terminal Okay, no, this not this one. Open the terminal, remove the git, and I'll replace pause. Okay, so this one is uh, is the one level for the cups. Okay, so if you're talking about that cups which is running over there itself, so just for that only there is a one level stuff. One level script is already available over there itself. So I'm using that script only to get it exploit. 
okay so this one is so let me give the summary of this machine so first of all what exactly we have to do we simply have to run the nmap and by that way we just came to know about it like port 23 is enabled and once we run the udp then we'll came to know it's 161 port is also enabled we run the snmp walk we'll just identify the strings then on the basis of that uh, snmp walk with one we'll try it uh, we'll get the content and we'll try to get it converted in appropriate way by which we get the password uh, then we'll attempt for the telnet on port 23 and try to get it access whatever the credential we are getting we will try put directly to get that done once we get it login inside of it we are putting one liner and at the under terminal we'll make it a listener on port 443 by that way we get the reversal once we putting a one liner in the telnet session uh, then after that once we get the reversal we get we can we are in a position to read the user.txt flag that's the initial flag then we proceed further with that and what exactly we are doing it over here so cups is one of the thing which is uh, uh, in case in place of server the cups 1.6 is the vulnerable version so there is exploit is available in the market so we'll try to pull it in the time folder we'll run it directly and we can get the root shell out of it so that's all about the stuff which i just want to get it covered in this video Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. If you like to connect me, you can connect me directly on LinkedIn. The LinkedIn profile link I'll put in the description section of this video. And if you feel like you have to provide the feedback, you can provide the feedback in the comment section of this video. So thank you so much once again. Take care. Bye-bye.